Today, I want to show you how one of our clients' digital cyber cherries used in slot for their game, Hypercharge Unboxed, to revolutionize the way their artists create 3D assets. Josh Lennon, the lead artist and animator of Digital Cyber Cherries, showcases how they managed to automate their entire asset pipeline to create their game-ready assets in just a few minutes. Now, typically, once the high-poly model has been modeled or sculpted by an artist, the next steps would be the manual retopology, which is necessary to reduce the polygonal count and make the models usable for real-time games, then the UV unwrapping, and finally texture baking. And even then, iterations of the original mesh are necessary to adjust the topology for a perfect bake. All of those steps are very tedious tasks to complete that take up a lot of work, time and nerves, especially when having to do this over an entire library of hundreds or even thousands of models. In this video, Josh demonstrates how they managed to automate that entire section of their 3D pipeline by using InSlot, saving days of work per model and even allowing for quick and easy iterations of their models when changes had to be made by their artists. I hope you enjoy their demonstration. Hi there. My name is Josh Lennon, and I am the lead 3D artist and animator with the Digital Cyber Cherries on our latest project, Hypercharge Unboxed. Today, we're going to look at our latest weapon pickup, the Flamethrower. Right now, it is a very high resolution mesh of 1.4 million tries. As you can see, some of the detail is relatively simple. Uh, our scale factor is that of an action figure, so we try not to put too much detail in there and have a nice balance for a first-person view experience as well. We generate our meshes in ZBrush using their DynaMesh and Boolean system, and we also take advantage of their PolyPaint system so that we can export these meshes in FBX as vertex colors. This will then get baked down into our low-resolution mesh and baked into its own texture map. We can take that texture map and use that in an external app such as Substance for a color selection mask. So we go through InSlot and make some final checks on some of our settings. As you can see, we're using the normal fuzzy face count and a high surface construction. Going to uh, speed up a little bit of this. That went from 1.4 million tries to just over 9,000 in a matter of five minutes. And the quality is very nice. That's five minutes for a low resolution model that is fully ready to go in to your game engine. In this next example, we've got our own little setup for character customization. We try to focus on a little more creative freedom here at Digital Cyber Cherries, and our character customization, we're able to just sculpt out new heads. And if we get in a conversation with one another during a team meeting or throughout the course of a workday, and we have a quick discussion, if an artist is free, we're able to talk to them, get an asset sculpted in ZBrush or another 3D modeling application, get it into Insulod, and generate a mesh that will look great up close and personal in a matter of minutes. Uh, this mesh took four minutes to generate a low resolution model of just over 10,000 tries. Now, 10,000 is a little bit excessive for a head of this size and uh, 2000 is a little bit more of a standard exception, uh, especially for this kind of asset and the type of game that we're playing. Uh, 2000 is a very, very comfortable number. So just run through Insulod's optimization, and there we go. A fresh, new, fully uh, ready 2K working head, and that was seconds that it optimized that mesh. So to the people of Insulod, thank you so much for working on this tool set. It takes a lot of the stress and the worry out of generating assets on a tight deadline 
and just throws that right out the window. You still get a nice, beautiful asset that's game ready in a matter of minutes. And it really comes down to how creative you are, how well you can model that creativity, and how well you can texture it and generate materials. And that's really where all the artists like to spend most of their time. And it really allows for the most comfortable, stress-free environment that I've had in the past 10 years of working in the game industry. And I thank you guys very much for the opportunity to use your software. It's absolutely incredible. And I wish you the best of luck and everything else that you do. Thank you.